Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to John's Model Making. Today we're going to start Iron Man, or restart it, seeing as Package 2 came last week. I received Package 6 yesterday, so that's great. So I've got actually about 19 issues to complete, so it's uh, time to catch up. Today I'm going to be doing uh, the left hand, I think it is. Oh, sorry, the right hand, mate, three armour, the right hand. So that's great, so all the fingers and blah de blah. Um, it lights up as well, so it's got its own LED. Um, you've probably seen other people's uh, builds, um, but obviously I'm gonna try and do a catch up now over the next two or three weeks, get the get it back in front, so as I can uh, move on with everybody else at the same time. Also what came yesterday was uh, the Iron Man cap. There we go. I always look stupid in caps. Should have sent us a t-shirt. There, there we go. Well that looks great. Go along with the other bits and bobs that we get with it. Anyway, with all that said, let's get on with the build. Get ready for a major remodel, fellas. We're back in hardware mode. Okay, so I presume everything is in the box. There's quite a few parts here. Um, I've read the instructions once and um, it doesn't look too complicated um, except for where they name the parts 3C, 3D you know, begin the thumb by screwing pieces 3C and 3D together with a CP screw notice how each piece is a number marked to the joint one half of the thumb, two half of the index finger three half of the middle finger, four half of the ring finger and five half of the lower finger but in the magazine, each part comes as a three, as issue three, I suppose, uh, and a letter. So lots of confused things, I suppose. But anyway, let's see how we get on. As I said in the intro, I've been, um, oh, I may not have said in the intro, I've been waiting for this pack for a, a number of, of months uh, simply because they can't get the, the address wrong um, the initial date when it was supposed to be delivered um, well mail sent it back due to uh, an address error but uh, and it took them all this time to get it resolved which is a little bit annoying but um, there we go Okay, let's have a look what we've got. 3A is the palm, 3B is the screen, uh, 3C and 3D is the thumb, which is 1A. Um, now I think they're all individually labelled. Uh, they've got um, something stamped on them. Let's see, that one has got 4R, so that is. Yep, that's the ring finger. I'll leave the others in there for now. I believe we need these two first. What they call 3C and 3D. I'm going to have to refer to the uh, magazine quite a bit on this one. Um, does that go that way? That looks better. It goes that way. Alright, begin the thumb by screwing pieces 3C and 3D together with a CP screw. Here we are, well, see, piggy screw, it's P being plastic.
There we go, that's the little finger. Uh, CPDP FP. Okie dokie. The finished finger should look like that, which it does. Brilliant. They all look fine. Okay. So, stage six fitted the LED into the hand, fix the screen 3B into the palm of the hand 3A using two BM screws. It only fits in one position. So, we need 3A. Oh, that's nice and metallic. 3B. It will only go one way because of the cut out there. And we need two BM screws. we have here that's a nice solid connection there put a bit of oil on this one I haven't done with the first one but you can always tell when you put some oil on there we go that's that in place lovely job there. nice paintwork on that as well okie doke so what we need now is look at the back of the hand 3s oh this is plastic there we go like so that's the back of the hand hold it that way on the battery case push the LED switch into the side of the battery case as shown okay so that, like that, where is it? Is that way? No, it's not that way. That switch is coming out. It's definitely the first way I did it. Yeah, okay. Trying to position this little PCB so that uh, but it won't let me. Right, we've fixed that in place to BP screws. supposed to sit in here and a little slack there but it doesn't hit it when you've got floating parts I don't want to trap any wires I haven't put the fingers in this yet there we go um, right position the fingers in the back of the hand 3S and 3Q, the fingers are placed in the order shown in the fold saw with a joint facing upwards. Okay, so there's thummy, there's little finger, there's index, middle, and ring. Okay, okay. They look fine to me. Once fingers are in place, insert the wrist joint 3U into the groove at the base of the hand. That must be the wrist joint. Uh, this is the thing here. Uh, and wires are just annoying. That's in place. And then bring the two halves of the hand together, turning it over so that the back of the hand base is up and secure it with three AM screws. So now we put the big metal hand in place. Let's see if we can out of the way. 
Well, that should fit there like so. Okay. Let's hope I've not trapped any wires. 3 a.m. screws. Okay, okay. Let's get the screws early. Crunchy crunch that. for this um, I do have the cover oh god that's tight that has moved around let's just unfasten that this still a bit wonky there it is <laughs> A bit better. Okay, okay. Now well, let's put the battery in and see what happens here, shall we? No. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's. Oh, it's lit. There she is. I'll light up a little bit. Oh. There we go. That was rather fiddly. Now all we need to do is put on the battery cover. Oops, uh, that way up. And we secure that in place with an EP screw. we go that is issue three complete that one's a little bit loose but can easily be tightened up nice little bit as well there we go so that will complement there we go There's the foot, and here's the helmet. Oh, that's a spare helmet. There we go. So, issues one, two, and three. Excellent stuff. Okay, so now we've got issue four, which is the art reactor, another major part. Um, I don't know why everybody reads these magazines. Arch Enemy is a constant threat. And I do like the uh, the old Iron Man comics. And they're so much different than the films. They go into so much depth, obviously, with the comic because they do uh, um, tell a, a much, much more in depth story of the characters and um, how it affects all the people in their lives as well. Um, and the amount of villains that they come across. There's just as many villains as there are superheroes. Um, but they make an interesting read. And they're a bit of nostalgia for me. Take me back to the 60s. Um, when I was a lad. Model 2 Red and Gold Iron Man. Get out with that first play there. That looks Bill. Love it. I do love these um, the stories. Makes me want to go out and buy all the comics again. 
if only be worth a fortune then okay so let's do a parts checklist we've got 4a the reactor crown which is this 4b the reactor housing and led which is that the battery cover the screen there's the screen oh there it is the led support the reactor cover and the reactor ring and we've got two set of screws am and bp so i don't think this is going to be too difficult i thought the fingers would have been a lot more difficult than what they were they were a bit fiddly um, and the only difference was the little finger had one screw different than the uh, the other fingers which had to be mindful of okay that's the packaging right with there we go nice bucket with a switch already in place is it looks like it right so what do we need we need this part which is metal wobbly jubbly and we need 4g the front of the art reactor consists of two parts the chrome 4a which is a metallic outer part and the inner plastic ring 4g fix the inner ring into the back of the crown as shown snapping in place using the two small pins okay Now let's see. Do, 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 do. I don't think that matters which way that goes. That's not right. There is an orientation to this, I think. Yep, there is an orientation to this. Okay. Just places in. It says snaps in, we don't snap at all, we just place it in there. Yep, there we go, done. Now insert the reactor cover 4 half into the back of the crown assembly and fix it in place with two AM screws. Okie dokie. So this does have, there we go, that's the correct invitation for that. I'll watch out for these because it's not at all obvious at first, but as you can see, that and that are fully aligned. You align these two up, you can see these are offset. So it is just a matter of getting it correct way around. Here we go, we need two screws. And then no problem. Try a little bit of oil this oil with this one. There we go. That's the AM screws. Uh, very nice all the jubbly stage 2 battery case and screen the reactor housing 4b comprises the battery case a switch on the base and the LED that fixes into the support carefully remove the LED cable from inside the battery case there we go which I have done I imagine that sits there Anyway, this turns the page over. Right, at this point, we don't need that. And obviously, this LED pops into there, like so, and then push the LED support into the housing 4B, being careful not to trap the wire between the support and the housing, obviously. sorry about that okay right so pop that in there like so then we need this piece here which goes there like 
so and then we need to fix this all together like that and do 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 uh, two am screws there's some bp screws somewhere yeah. One Put a bit of oil on that one. That's a bit better. There we go. And pop that down there. These switches just don't want to behave the other times. Okie dokie. Okay, so use a pair of tweezers to put a cell battery in. Let's have a look. We got a battery, of course. Yes. Let's see. We can just squeeze that in there, down there. It's already on. Yep. It's on. I guess what? It's not switching off. <laughs> oh, the switch has popped into place slowly. Yep. Oh, no. Okay, so now we're back to normal. It switches on and it switches off. Basically, I think the uh, PCB and the wires got a little bit stuck. So it's either a trap wire or a wire shorting out inside there. But it's working fine now. Sir, the reactor has accepted the modified core. And will begin running diagnostics. That is issue four complete. Brilliant. See, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, with all these parts I've uh, looked at some of the issues and uh, there's not a great lot to them but uh, that's the first four issues anyway helmet the foot the art reactor and a hand the right hand I don't think you can ever make this remote control really could you know with all these separate pieces I mean be a task and a half. Everything seems to be working fine. Wait, look at that lighting everywhere. And there we go. There's all right man himself. Brilliant! So, so issue five, this feels a bit heavy. More stories of Tony Stark, secret identity, Iron Man vs Tony Stark. Yep, that went on for a long time if I remember. I think something in the comics here. Stark against Stark. What I love about the comics as well is the artwork. It really was good. There we go, and here we have the right elbow joint. So we have 5A, the upper right arm joint, 5C, the right elbow cover, 5B, the lower right arm joint, and two washers. Lovely jubbly. Let's get them out of the bag. Mm, that is heavy. That's plastic. It must be the joints that way. Here we go. This can't be that difficult, can it? Do 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 do. Do do do. I don't know what do 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 for. Let's see. Put these washers on here. And then put that there. That there. This is the fifth, that is it. That is one, two, three. Yep. 
that must be a sheet 5 this is the first stage of assembling the inner part of the right elbow which will be completed in future issues future issues I hope it's finished in 6 I'm going to keep this line around I don't know about you but I like these magazines very colourful oh it's brilliant obviously tells you where the, the joint is right up around right for um let's see yes always avengers always friends more on mr stark there's captain america very muscular that'll be a good read let's have a look what is in issue six shall we wonder if it's the um other part of the elbow there we have issue six not a great lot to this one and there we go I mentioned the Cree scroll wall in this magazine the cosmic adventure the Cree scroll wall which is something we can look forward to on the Marvel films there we are those giant man as I remember him oh, is it the wasp there? it probably is a classic lineup of Avengers volume one number 58 Hawkeye Goliath which is Hank Pym the Wasp Janet Van Dyne Thor Captain America Vision and Iron Man Goliath yeah that was mentioned in the uh, films there we go let's see right three armor the elbow joint two so we have right arm joint cover the right arm elbow connector two washers and gp screws not a great lot to this there we go. get me rid of the packaging off here the screws jump okay doc so for the previous issue excellent it wants us to put the washers on here and here Oops, uh, and that supposed to go in there like that and then we marry the two up now let's see if this works obviously not Well, that failed. As I thought it would do. Should have done it my own way. Okay, okay, let's put these washers in here. And here. And then. Uh, that's a much better fit. Why didn't they say you do that in the first place? I don't know. There we are. So we need to fix this in place with the uh, GP screws. Yeah, you can see the washers there as well. Brilliant stuff. is very stiff that doesn't move much <laughs> right elbow joints is now complete and upcoming issues you will receive parts for the arm the forearm and the arms outer plates keep the assembled pieces safely yeah we'll do that is how it's supposed to be there we go and that is in the correct place oh nice and tight that doesn't move much that moves a bit better a bit more yep that gets stopped there that's correct excellent so that is package two completed i've waited months for that um i don't know how long it's taken to do this video but um 
obviously they've speeded up in places and um, we don't want to bore you all to death with me screwing things together but um, looking at this especially um, issue 5 and 6 they were rapid um, if there's more issues like that it's only going to take 2 minutes to do a video but anyway um, I hope you enjoyed it this Iron Man I'm really going to enjoy it I know I will because um, I'm going to have a 2 foot Iron Man along with my um, other smaller statues I've got uh, and what I also like is the magazines there's another story Iron Man against the Hulk it's no contest really is it <laughs> let's see next issue build the right forearm and the enemy inside a demon in the bottle Tony Stark on the booze anyway that's that for now I hope you enjoyed it if you did give us a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified about my future videos and you can always have a look at uh, my playlist as well see if there's anything more of interest for you there um, thanks for watching stay safe and I'll see you soon bye official consulting hours are between 8 and 5 every other Thursday